everyone, and welcome to the Visualize Your Own Data presentation. It's going to be an interactive one. So if you have your smartphone or tablet around, if you have one, please go and grab it. But you don't need that to participate. Uh, my name is Chris Bent, and I am the founder of Pickles. Now, that is not the salty snack that many of you know. In this case, it comes from a combination of pictures and pixels. So we put both of those together, and we have created a platform that allows for everyone to participate and create their own data, share it, and together form the bigger picture on how an entire group, community, or classroom feels and thinks about certain objects. So I'll talk to you about the history of Pickles, but I want to just dive right in and start using it because that is the best way to experience it. And I think that is the most fun as well. So if I am cutting out, I apologize. Um, what I'm going to do is share my screen. And on it, you will see a QR code that you can scan. Now, scanning this QR code will open up the Pickles app. And you can also click on the link that I just put into the chat. Both of those will get you to access the tool that we have created here. And all you need to do for this first question is to draw your self-portrait and how you are feeling this afternoon. So you'll see everything shows up in real time. Um, and to give you a quick overview of how to use it, you have that white space to express yourself however you would like. Then right below it, there's a little brush size selector that allows you to make the color palette thicker or thinner. And then below that are the colors that you can use. So you can play around with all of the different colors you can see. You know what, if you want to just scribble and leave some of those, you are welcome to do that as well. We've got uh, some, some people feeling regal. Um, oh yeah, and you also might have found the undo button that uh, I was a little hesitant to put on because I really wanted people to just express and share without that feeling of being perfect. But um, yeah, we, we put it on there to help with the ease. So I love it. We've got some different colored eyes coming in here where I would say overall feeling pretty awesome. It is late in this day, and I know there's been a lot of awesome conversations and connections that have been happening throughout this conference. So uh, yeah, these are, this is <laughs> awesome. I love the hairstyle, the steely blue eyes, <laughs> and this... Uh, graphic as well. So overall, I would say we're feeling pretty good. And one of the reasons that we created this tool was so people can express themselves in a more open ended and authentic way. Because when we're only using text and speech to talk, it can be a bit constricting. And so as you can see, uh, I asked this question how people are feeling, but some people, they just drew this because they wanted to. And I think that that is awesome because really there is no right or wrong. Uh, there is just expressing yourself. And uh, hello <laughs> from the audience. Like, yeah, if you aren't feeling that well right now, that is totally all right as well but you might just feel like uh, a happy face in the clouds. So this presentation is all about you. I want to share the stage with all of you so that we can understand how we feel and think about certain things. So for the next question that I have, I wanna know how you guys stand with AI. So to draw here, all you need to do is hit done and draw again. 
I will put the link into the chat as well if you just wanted to click on that. And the question for you, how proficient do you feel with AI? So again, all you need to do is to hit done and draw again. And this time you'll notice I used just a few colors, red, green, and yellow. So if you feel like you are an AI pro, use green and color the whole square in. If you are pretty good with AI, but not great, you can just do a little green dot or uh, A plus or whatever it may be. And if you are just starting out, if you are not certain, if you're not sure at all, you can use red to share how you actually feel um, with that. And so I am going to share mine here because even though I am here and talking to you all, I am not the best. So it looks like we've got some some experts here in the audience, which is which is awesome to see. We've got uh, a yellow thumbs up. So another person who is pretty good. Uh, they are definitely coming into their own abilities. We've got a lot of greens. I, I will be the uh, only red one there, I guess, um, because as I said, I work with people who are much better at data science, but myself, I am not the best. So we're going to take another couple of minutes. And one of the beautiful things about this is that it allows for everyone to just express themselves how they want, but then to see it all show up here. So as your students, I know uh, you're used to getting grades a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, whether it's a D, a B, a C, but a degree some of you also have, which is awesome. Um, we just added in this fancy ability of replaying all of the brush strokes as well. So we can see this person as they are getting their degree in data science. Very cool to see. But uh, yeah, I like I like the different the different grades that we are all getting. Uh, 50 out of 50. That is pretty perfect right there. Um, I'm seeing, yes, I am learning. And uh, that is beautiful. That is what I'm doing as well. And I think that is why all of us are here because this whole industry is not very old. I think a lot of people are learning. And if they're not saying that they're learning, they are going to maybe be lying a little bit. <laughs> uh, we've got someone who knows how I did it in school. <laughs> uh, yes. I, I I might get a D, but yeah, it'll it'll probably be an F. I'll be honest. You guys are much smarter than I am. Um, so yeah, feeling good, feeling A's, B's, C's, D's. I guess I'm the only one who got an F in data science, but I will take that. Um, so overall, to summarize though, I would say that it is kind of all over the map, but definitely trending towards the higher levels. We feel good. We feel like we pretty much have it figured out. Some of us are neutral. Um, that is totally all right. Um, yeah, some of us just need to go back. Well, maybe I need to go back to school. <laughs> I would love to go back to school. I would definitely enjoy that. Um, but awesome. So we have our basis we know how we're feeling. We know how proficient we are with AI. And now I want, well, now I want to know what you guys think the future of AI looks like. I was going to ask a different question, um, but uh, I won't do that to keep it a little bit uh, safer here. Um, so again, you can just hit done and draw again to get to the next question, which I want you to use your imaginations because this one is projecting into the future. And I want to know what you think the future of AI looks like. 
what is it when you imagine all of the things that Google, NVIDIA, Salesforce, there are so many big companies all working on different things in AI, but what do you think that it's going to look like? And, and what do you even want it to look like if you had your ability because you will be building the next versions of these algorithms, these next data sets? So um, the future is license restricted use. Interesting. This, uh, I would love to hear more perhaps in the chat about uh, maybe what that might be. Um, nice, we have some optimism, very brightness coming in. Uh, people will take advantage of it negatively. I feel like they already are kind of taking advantage of it negatively. And I certainly, I think this could go a lot of ways and is why a lot of people, there's the whole slowing down movement. I forget exactly what it's called. But there is the fear that it'll only be controlled by a few people. Um, that, yeah, there's, there's definitely. And uh, the future of AI, we've got a big tombstone being created here as well. Um, this, is, uh, this is so interesting. I, we've got, uh, oh, human. Is that what that says? Wow. So we've got uh, people who think it might be used to build guns. We've got bright futures and roads ahead. Also, that it will be used negatively, that it will be used maliciously, um, but also bright and excited. This is so beautiful because it just represents the diversity that we all feel and think about AI and data science and where it is going. And who knows why, like where the, the opinions come from. Maybe some of us read different news sources. But um, yeah, the human is, I think, a huge part of all of this because we built this AI and it is a reflection of what we think and what we feel. So if we don't feel positive about the human race, then we might not feel positive about what AI is going to look like. If anyone wants to uh, share more, I see Chelsea shared more um, that she is looking for safety and regulatory policies that may need to be put into place. So that, yeah, these things don't get out of control. We've also got uh, some more detail on the trees here. Um, we are, as Yala says, those are the companies that we will see a lot. We are all on this road together. Human humanity is traveling to this place that we really don't know where it's going to go. That's why some of us feel like it's bright, like this is going to be the savior. Some of us feel like this is the end of humanity. And I think we're all right. There's, there's no certainty with this because it is innovative. And that is what makes it so exciting. But it's also what makes it so scary. Jobs will be created. Jobs will be lost. And how we will react is what is going to determine it, which is why I think humans and everyone in this crowd, the people here are really what is going to steer it in the direction that it goes. Because AI is going to automate a lot of our lives. And it is also going to beg the question, what does it mean to be human? If we don't need to do all of these things anymore, what will we do? And so I want to ask you for the final question here. What does it mean to be human to you with AI potentially taking all of these mundane, repetitive, boring tasks? We're going to have it making everything that we need and doing everything that we want. What is it that humans are even going 
to do. Um, <laughs> hopefully, as uh, as Prakruti said, it means the downfall of humans. But, but we've always thought that the downfall of humans are always coming. So assuming that we have a little bit of time before the downfall of humans <laughs> or not, um, what what will we do with this extra time, this freedom, this ability that we have? What does it mean to be human that AI could help to free us to be more human? Perhaps it is really leaning into being a capybara as they are such cute <laughs> creatures. I would certainly love to have a uh, much more time be able to be spent with uh, capybaras. <laughs> this is a great outline too. I don't think you even needed to write Cappy for, for me to know that that was a capybara. Um, oh, I love this. We've got our soul. This is beautiful because yes, with all of the distractions and the noise, we can quiet ourselves, maybe find that soul in us of, what it means to be human and finding that coexistence. Yeah, it's not going to take us over. It's going to coexist and we can make AI better. We, we made AI in the first place and just for the purpose that it can make us better. So finding that balance, finding that harmony at the beginning, it might be over indexed and and negative, but then I think with everything, time helps it to fall into balance. And I love this. We've got the emotion. Yes, AI will never feel emotion. I uh, actually recently created some uh, ability of grouping and grouping the drawings with AI. And I tried to have it sort it by joy and fear and love. And the thing is, it doesn't know those things. AI doesn't know what, what love feels like. It might know the word, but only humans have these emotions. And these emotions are so, so powerful. Um, yeah, we have, we have, uh, we have the, the music, the art, the love. I, I love this because this is my gem. Obviously, we all just exercised our creativity here, but I really believe that when we outsource our creativity to AI, we are doing ourselves a disservice because humans, our unique ability is our creativity, our use of imagination and original ideas to transform the lives of the people around us and the world that we live in to make it a happier place like we see right here. And so I I obviously play with the AI art, but I also understand that it takes us away from the process. And this process that we have to go through of struggling and creating and trying and exploring and experimenting and seeing where something goes without knowing exactly what the end destination will be I think that is what it means to be human and what is so beautiful about all of this. So I, um, I, yeah, I just love these responses. And if you want to add anything into the chat, please do. I just wanted to quickly share my contact information with you. I have a little bit of, um, I'm going to share my entire screen, just YOLO it. So, as, uh, as I said, Pickles, we're, we're using it for lots of different places, lots of different spaces to create all sorts of data visualizations and organizing these now with AI. Um, I'm going to use all of these drawings to create some content that I'll share out after. But if you wanted to connect with me, you can reach me at chris at pickles.com or on LinkedIn. I'm there all the time. We are trying to create, as uh, all of these text-based uh, LLMs are doing, we're trying to do with drawings because there's a lot of data in the drawings that we have. 
as you can see, there's emotion, there's soul, there's even capybaras. And you don't get so many capybaras when you are just uh, using LLMs. So I uh, would love to stay in touch, connect with you all, and uh, bring more sentience to the human race with all of you. So thank you for your time today and enjoy the last panel of this conference. If you have any questions, I'll, I'll stay on as well. But uh, it was great to connect with you today. Thanks for drawing. Thanks for doing something new. And uh, yeah, that's the biggest thing about AI, going into the unknown and just playing with it, experimenting with it, getting your hands dirty. I think as long as you're doing that, as long as you keep that mindset of let's see what happens, you're going to be successful. So thank you. <laughs> it was a good drawing with you and connecting with you and seeing uh, seeing more. So uh, yeah, feel free to reach out. Hope you had fun. And uh, yeah, we can uh, stay in touch. <laughs>